Hello everyone in YouTube land. I'm going to try this again for the third time because I seem to always knock the camera over every time I try to record it. So we're going to do this again without knocking the camera over. Okay, so the theme of this video was going to be gifts of Christmas past. So these are things that I got last year, uh, Christmas of 2021. My wife seems to have a, a knack or a talent for finding tools that I would have never thought to have asked for myself um, and things that are very useful. Um, unfortunately, I've not got to use this guy yet. We'll get into that. Um, it's all pertaining to whatever job I'm doing. I do a lot of different things. Uh, I'm a maintenance technician for apartment living. And uh, so there's always a bunch of different little things I'm having to deal with, but most of these have come in very handy for me. Uh, we're going to kind of treat this video as if it's a uh, Christmas day of 2021 and I'm opening it for the first time because some of this stuff is still in its original packaging. Also, some of it's still in the plastic. Uh, but I like to do that. That way it hopefully preserves it and nothing you know gets damaged while it's kind of sitting waiting for me to use it. So the first thing I'm going to go over is uh, my five-piece pickup toolkit. It comes with a mini magnetic pickup tool, a magnetic pickup tool with LED light, round shaped inspection mirror, square shaped, square shaped inspection mirror with LED light, or tele and telescoping magnetic pickup tool with flashlight. Um, that's all the little specs there on this thing. I will try to find um, a link to these. Uh, all these came from Amazon. I'll try to put one in the description. I know uh, this guy here, uh, I didn't quite see this version of it still on there, um, but they do have other versions uh, from the same brand, but I'll put that in the description, uh, like I said, if I can find these. But yeah, I want to kind of go over this guy. The one thing I have used a good bit has been this deal here, It uh, and so much so I killed the batteries on it and just haven't replaced them for the video. But uh, you got a magnet on this end, which works really well. Also a magnet, which is probably not as strong, but there is a magnet on the end of the light. Definitely for smaller screws. It's barely holding onto this bolt. But little clip on for your pocket, side of your tool pouch. Um, I usually keep this in my, my main tool pouch that I do all my normal calls with. Um, and it's pretty cool. Telescope's out. And this is where I knocked the camera over the last few times. I was extending this out and trying to get it in the shot. Um, and the little, the neck cranks there. This thing's been really beneficial with working under sinks. Um, especially if you got a stainless steel sink, stick that up to the bottom of the sink. I got to pop my light out, kind of aim it whatever direction I like. Yeah, so this thing's been really cool. I said I keep this one on me all the time. Very useful. Thank you, Boo, once again. The mirrors, I haven't had a chance to really, haven't had to use them yet. Uh, I believe this guy, I've used it a few times here. It's another LED light with a magnet. And it telescopes as well. I'm trying to get the whole length in the shot because this thing goes out pretty long. I'm not exactly sure how long. I'll measure this guy real quick. From the end to the handle, you got about 32 inches. So it's got a pretty good reach on it. twist off like there and find my bolt again it's got pretty good pickup on it get my arm out of the way yep so that's a magnet and a light nice little grippy on there another little mirror here it extends out a good bit probably about the same reach about 32 inches there it's 
probably definitely a lot better for mechanic work, I guess, which I don't work on cars as I despise doing it. I don't have the patience for it. Um, but you know, if you're you need to look, I don't know, maybe inside a, a hole in the wall. Um, this has a led light on it as well. Extends out about the same. You got about 32 inches there of reach. And then my little other little pocket guy I was going in my EDC pretty much every day. Carry um, always had this on me because you never know when you need to fish something out of a, a grate or something like that. But the magnet's pretty good on this little guy too. Probably more so than uh, than your light, but it's got a great magnet. Yeah, so that was that one. So super useful there. I would have never thought to bought have bought these things for myself. Um, but yeah, like I said, she she has a knack of finding things that are very handy, very useful, and. Uh, like I said, I can't wait to see what I get this year. You know, you guys can leave in the comments uh, below uh, some of the cool gifts you've gotten. Say maybe uh, last Christmas. Uh, something that, you know, hopefully you're able to use every day. And that's something that has improved your life and made things better. Um, going to this guy here. It's uh, from uh, Rack. Which I've never heard of the brand before. They got quite a few different things on Amazon. Pretty sure... Made in China. Um, I know that matters to some people, so I just pointed it out, whichever. Um, but, you know, the, the biggest thing on these things are, I don't want to say gimmicky. These are just items that are more innovative. Gimmicky tends to have a negative connotation to it. Whereas they're supposed to do something and they, they fail at it. Um, not so much in this case with these. These have all been really great. They're just uh, not tools that you normally see on a regular basis. Um, this guy here, just a universal socket, which has been really cool. I know they make tons of different little ratcheting, like T-handle type screwdrivers and things. Um, but you got your little ratchet action on this guy. You got a little bit set. The coolest thing about this was that it comes with your universal socket. The only design flaw that I've seen with this is if you have something that's going to stand out, say like a bolt, that stands out about half an inch, quarter of an inch, it only goes so far. Other than that, it's been great. So if you're going from this this business in here, let me just attach it to the tool. But yeah, I got to use this guy quite a few times. It works really well. Go the other way with it. The I guess the only other thing is like with it not being a deep well socket and you're only going in about that far, it does tend to have a little bit of some wiggle to it. But other than that, it's been pretty great. Little demonstration there. Pretty beefy though. Got a little bit of wiggle but this thing's been pretty good and if you just get it just for the you know your little ratchet bit kind of assortment there pretty good for that haven't used the bits on this a whole lot so i don't know you know how long they'll they'll hold up but it's been a good little set for me as well And I am one of those weirdos. I do try to keep everything 
if I can keep the the packaging the original packaging sometimes like I said if it's not in my my tool bag or whatever I do kind of keep it in here but this goes in my uh in my drawer of my my van and uh I keep this one on me too um have not had a chance to really use this yet I don't do really a lot of flooring at all for my work um but we're gonna we're gonna pull everything out of here I said treating this like Christmas morning but these have been really cool it's a uh, instant template and for making accurate shapes it says but uh exact tool locking feature easy to use inches and centimeters made out of ABS plastic and it says DIY projects but Some of you know what these do though. But basically, it's to help map out around your trim. You stick it up against a piece of trim. Or whatever you're working around, really. And it's going to help you get your template, make your marks for whatever you're working around. I have not had the opportunity to use this yet, but you know. If I need it, I'll have it. So locks down into place once you get your your little shape that you need, your angle. Locks it down. And then you can trace it out. Say like on your flooring if you're going around, you know, door jam or whatever. And the kit here comes with a little I said this is obviously more geared towards like just home DIYers. Um but it's still something really cool, something nifty to have. Comes with a little tape measure in it, instructions, um, and then a few little extra like plastic pieces in case one of them breaks, and then a little screwdriver to disassemble the product. And uh, that way you can throw the new ones in if you break one. But like I said, I can imagine it comes down to it, it's gonna be super handy. Uh, like I said, I've got it if I need it. So, uh, one more thing, kind of while we're looking at kind of somewhat gimmicky slash innovative tools, I think I saw this guy on Instagram or I saw one similar to it. And this is a Kerr brand. I've never heard of them before, but I saw it and I, it was really cool looking. I had to have it. I haven't used this thing very much at all. Um, I've basically kept it in the box, but it all seems really well made. Um, and it, there was another product similar to this that I was going to get. And the reviews on this was better than the other one. Um, so I ended up going with this guy. Uh, one of the best things about it is uh, the case has a magnetic closure on it. So it doesn't seem to dump out. This came with a magnetizer, demagnetizer, and then the fancy gold bits. This is more just an eye candy tool that I like to look at, kind of play with. I have used it a little bit, um, but it's been super neat. Uh, it's got this rubberized kind of uh, insert here that holds all your bits and everything in place. Like I said, it feels really well made. I can pop this guy out of here. And it's just another little ratcheting deal. And there's no forward or reverse on it. What you have to do is switch it to the other side to go in the other direction. But I guess part of what they were selling on this was that you can connect it, if I can do that at different points. So it's supposed to be versatile as far as you want to do this kind of business with it or just fully extend it out. So this is one of those things that's, I say gimmicky just because in my line of work, I'm not carrying this around with me every day. It's something to, like cool to pull out and just kind of show it to your buddies or whatever but I really haven't used this in any kind of work application. This was not a gift from my wife, by the way. This was a gift to myself. 
mid-year, saw it and wanted it. Um, but it's a cool little fidget toy if you got a fidget with something. But the bits have been really good. They, uh, the bits had a pretty good rating on them. Um, so yeah, like I said, you can switch it around however you want. You got a little T-handle ratchet. Or extend it out. Kind of go over what it's got in here real quick. As you can kind of see, it comes with a decent selection of bits. I think it's got it on the back of the box. If you wanted to kind of see what else it has. It's got four extended bits. Got Phillips 0, Phillips 1, Phillips 2. A U4 bit. Um, half of these I don't have to use. I don't know what they are. Um, but I'm sure if I get into any kind of electronics work, um, I've definitely had to have the uh, the, the, tri, uh, the tri bit there. Um, turn apart Xboxes and whatnot. Um, but yeah, pretty good assortment. 24 general bits, 4 extended bits. Um, yeah, if that's still on there, I'll provide a link in the description as well. So you can check it out if you'd like to get one. And yeah, so that's about it for this video. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. And since we're coming up on it, hopefully um, I'll be able to do a video and uh, of my, my tool haul on Christmas Day. And I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I hope you get some good, tasty things. All right, out.